All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be drafting. Today we're going to be drafting the picture you saw on the thumbnail. Okay, so um, we're going to be using this lovely fabric to draft that. Okay, so let's proceed. We'll start by drafting the the half length or the half cut. Okay. All right. So today, um. I want us to draft um, using a freehand method. Okay, so let's proceed um, with marking our measurements. Okay, so let's start with the with our with the measurements that we'll be working with. Now um, we're working with a shoulder shoulder of sixteen point five um, boss round. Boss round of 43. Her boss length is 11.5. Her under boss length is 15. Um, under boss round is 37. Okay. Then her waist round is 37 as well. Then her boss span. I call it princess. Her boss round, her boss span is 8.5. Okay, then from her shoulder to her waist or her half length is 18. Okay, so these are the things that will be these are the measurements that we'll be making use of. Okay, now let's proceed with our markings. Okay, so let's take all her vertical measurements. Now, we're placing our tape at this starting point, okay? Then we place it all the way down. Now, her boss length from our, from what we wrote is 11.5. Her under boss length is 15. Then her half length is 18. We'll go ahead and mark it this side as well so we'll go ahead and connect these lines okay then remember this is a freehand metal so all our allowances are going to be included here now we'll go ahead and add a half inch for joining to the lower part And then we'll connect that as well. Okay. So here we have it. Now we'll proceed with our markings. So let's label. This is her, her boss point um, on that boss line. And then her half length or her waist. And then this is the allowance okay now um let's get what we call her bustier her bustier is is simply the extent of the revealing of her cleavage okay now to measure that we're going to place your tape on the bust point line and then measure to the under bust line what we have here is 3.5 okay now this 3.5 we're going to subtract it from her bust length Remember, her bust length is 11.5. So if you subtract 3.5 from 11.5 that we have here, that will give us 8. So you place your tape from the starting point and mark your 8. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and connect. Now, this is a guide. For you to know the extent of the revealing of the cleavage okay so here we have it we'll call it bs that's bustier line okay so let's proceed with our markings so let's proceed with our markings now the first thing we're going to mark 
is her boss span and her boss span is 8.5 okay now remember that this is a freehand method now 8.5 um divided by 2 that's 4.25 we'll mark it on the boss span on the boss span line 4.25 and then we add half inch for joining remember all our allowances are going to be included in this drafting so we first mark her boss span divided by 2 which is 4.25 here then we add half inch for joining okay so we're adding half inch for the joining which in total is giving us 4.75 now we'll repeat the same marking here her boss span divided by 2 which is 4.25 plus half inch for joining which in total gives us 4.75 now for her we're going to be using um, 1.75 to shape her cup okay now we'll go ahead place our tape um remember our initial marking here okay now we'll go ahead remember that um, initially we had marked her boss span divided by 2 plus 0 0.5 now after that 0 0.5 you go ahead place your tape and mark our 1.75 that we'll be using to shape her cup then we're going to connect we're going to connect these lines Okay, so here we have it we've connected now we're going to extend these lines to remember this our waist length and the allowance we're going to extend it to to this point okay now let's measure what we have here we have 4.75 here so we're going to repeat it down here this is 4.75 and we use 1.75 here to for the shaping now let's mark it 1.75 so let's simply extend these lines so let's simply extend these lines down okay so here we have it now let's um, let's proceed to her shoulder um her shoulder measurement is 16.5 and um 16.5 divided by 2 that's 8.25 we'll go ahead and make a mark there okay now we're going to be drafting um, um, a shoulder princess, okay? Or you can also call it a shoulder that. Now, to do that, we'll first mark her shoulder divided by two. This is, um, her shoulder is 16.5, and then um, half of it is 8.25. Now, you make a mark there, okay? Now, you mark her neckline. So, her neckline, um, her neckline width, is is three inches okay so we're going to be making use of her neckline um is three inches then her neckline depth is three inches as well for the front now we'll go ahead and connect that shipping this okay now um, we've marked her neckline, neckline with three inches, neckline that's three inches, then her shoulder um, is 16.5 divided by two, that's 8.25. Now we're going to take the middle between this neckline width and the shoulder, okay? Now we'll take the middle. To take the middle, simply place your tape like so. Place your tape like so and then fold. To the point of the shoulder divided by two and then make a mark there okay now we're connecting from here to there remember what i did i first marked her neckline with three inches neckline there three inches and i connected then i took her shoulder 16 16.5 divided by two that's 8.25 i i marked it i measured it um from here to here this is her shoulder divided by two. Then I took the midpoint between this neckline width and her shoulder. 
okay and this is this point so we're going to be connecting it to this boss point line so we'll place at our ruler so we're connecting with a straight line okay now here we have it um remember we shift here with 1.75 okay now we're going to be multiplying that 1.75 um multiplied by 2 that will give us 3.5 or you can just fold it out on your tape this is my 1.75 you fold it into two that will give you 3.5 that's if you don't want to crack your head with the measurement now we are placing it from this uh, our marking here okay we are placing our 3.5 from there and then we'll measure it this way now this is our 3.5 okay remember we placed our tape here now we're also connecting this our new marking to the boss point line okay so here we have it now it's time for us to 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 um it's, it's time for us to shape out now it's time for us to shape out our armhole and our and our cup let's start with the armhole so you're placing our tape from this starting point to our bustier line remember so what we have here is 8.5 to get the midpoint simply fold your tape so that it will rest on the bustier line fold your tape like so and then make a mark there now at that point we'll come this way and then we are going to use um, zero point we're going to use 0 0.6 to shape her armhole okay you can make use of your curve or you can make use of your free hand Okay, so we're connecting it back to the bustier line. Okay, it's best we finish off with pencil, then come back with our curves. Okay, so here we have it, our armhole curve it is ready. Why I like to mark with pencil is so that we can easily come back to reshape if there is any need for a correction. Okay. Now here we have it. Now the next thing for us to do is to shape this midpoint. Okay. Now we're going to place our curve like so. You place your curve so from here to this point. Okay, now, now we're also um, shaping this point. We'll place our curve from here to come and meet this part, okay? Okay, now let's reshape this part so that it doesn't um, come out too pointy. Okay. You can always reshape your curve. But whatever you do, ensure that it falls within that line. Okay? Great. Now, here we have it.
okay so here we have it now we are going to go ahead and cut okay we can also label this side so that we know these are bustier line our boss point under boss line and then our waist and the allowance so we'll go ahead and cut out okay so we'll go ahead and cut out but in cutting we're first going to cut the center line okay so to be sure that you're working with a straight line it's safe you extend extend your lines downwards like so just so you're sure you're working with a straight line so we start cutting the center line Okay, then we'll go ahead and cut straight every other line except the boss point. For the boss point, we're going to notch it. Okay, then we'll cut straight every other line um, 0.25 inside. Okay, then let's go ahead and cut out this other part. Okay, so we are done with our cutting. Okay, you can always go ahead and reshape. So this is great. Now we'll mark we'll mark um, 0 0.5 here. Remember the 0 0.5 that we added? We're going to mark it on this side so that we'll use it to join back to this part okay now let's mark a 0 0.5 for the joining okay so there we have it we're going to go ahead and notch the lines remember only the boss point sorry i have to turn it this way only the boss point line is what we're we're notching um triangular the rest is a straight line in so the boss point line you take it off like so and then you notch okay now we're going to join this back to this using um using our pin okay okay so let's join using our pin now in joining you're going to turn your paper so that it will face you. Then we'll start joining. We'll start joining like so. Align the waistline. The waistlines must meet by that 0 0.5 that we had added. Then you pin. Then when it gets to the underbust, they will meet again. Remember our notching. So when you get to the underbust, you just simply open it. You open it like so and then you continue your pinning along that 0 0.5 inch mark so the lines will stop meeting along the underboss line from the underboss line upwards they will not meet again Uh, I know you'll be wondering that we did not slope the shoulder. Um, when we're done, you will see why we didn't slope the shoulder. Okay. Okay. So we're done. And the next thing for us to do is to gently open it. Okay. Remember that this is a paper. So you gently fold it outwards. Like so, and straighten out all the marks. Okay, so here we have it, it's ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark our round measurements. We'll start with her boss um, round. Her boss round is 43, 43 divided by 4 is 10.75. Remember, this is her boss point line. So we'll place her, our tape like so. 
okay placing our tape from the end of the paper here so place our tape and let it slide this way okay so this is our tape it's sliding underneath like so and then we'll mark her bust is 10.75 okay let's uh, let me take it again we we'll place our tape like so let it slide down okay this way firmly then let's mark her boss points her boss round is 43 divided by 4 is 10.75 we've marked then um standard that applies to everyone is 3.5 so one two three so we're marking our 3.5 inches allowance remember that this is a freehand um, method okay let's extend the line okay so that's it we've marked our boss round and her under boss round is 37 37 divided by 4 that's 9.25 we place it firmly on her under boss like so and then we'll mark our 9.25 and then standard allowance is two inches so we'll go ahead and add our two inches now her waist round is 37 as well 37 divided by 4 that's 9.25 we'll go ahead and mark that and then also add our two inches um standard allowance now it's time for us to connect these points we are connecting from our boss point line to our under boss under boss to the waist okay so so now we're connecting to the waist remember that we don't have any sharp parts in our body so we need to blend we need to blend that line okay all right okay so the next thing we're going to do is to take her shoulder measurement remember her shoulder is 16.5 and half of it is 8.25 but before we do that we need to extend this our shoulder line that we're seeing now so we need to extend the shoulder line okay let me take off the pin along that line so you simply place your ruler following your initial mark and then simply extend it downwards like so can you see that it has sloped itself okay now it has sloped itself okay now the next thing for us to do is to mark her shoulder the shoulder is 16.5 and 16.5 divided by 2 that's 8.25 we'll go ahead place it on that um, shoulder line and we'll mark our 8.25 then we're adding one inch um, allowance okay which will take off 0 0.5 when we are finally reshaping now um, well now we're going to connect her boss round remember uh, we took her boss round her boss round divided by 4 and we got 10.75 which is here okay we're going to be connecting this 10.75 mark to this our extra one inch on the shoulder okay Okay, so the next thing for us to do is to get the middle of this line that's between the bustier line and the bust point line and you're going to place your tape like this and measure all we have is 3.5 and 3.5 divided by 2 will give us 1.75 so you go ahead and make a mark at that 1.75 like so and then we are connecting that with a ruler Okay, now here we have it. Let's also extend. Let's extend the lines a bit. Okay, so um, the next thing for us to do is to use a curve or your free hand to gently extend this to the bustier line. Okay. You can use your ruler, you can use your curve,
just anything to just gently extend it like so it's not a straight line it's a slight curve like this now we're going to be connecting now on this bustier line we'll come in by one inch okay this is a bustier line will come in by one inch like so now we're connecting from this shoulder point to meet this one inch and then back to this bustier line like so okay so we can make use of our curve like so then we're connecting it back to this point okay okay so here we have it our armhole curve is ready now um that's it we are done with the drafting of the front so one final thing is that we're going to be adding our joining allowance of 0.5 Remember, we already have 0 0.5 here, so we are just simply going to connect that to the new 0 0.5 mark that we have there. And it will be a wrap. Okay. So we're done. We're done with the front. The front is ready for cutting. So we'll go ahead and cut. So that's it we're done with the front part okay um we can go ahead and label this is our side front okay now um let's proceed to draft our back pattern so welcome back now let's proceed to draft our back pattern i only took um half inch marginal line here now the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and and measure add our one inch zip allowance okay okay then we're going to connect that okay now our zip allowance is ready okay so let's take our our half length remember our half length is 18 We'll make a mark then then we're adding half inch for joining um to the lower part as well we'll repeat the same thing here mark our 18 add a half inch for joining to the lower part then we're going to connect that okay so we're going to go ahead to mark our our neck depth Okay, so our neck width is 3 and our neck depth is 1.5. Then we'll go ahead and connect that. Okay, so that's our neck width. 3 inches by 1.5 at the back. Now let's take our shoulder, starting from after the 1 inch zip allowance. Remember her shoulder is 16. 16 over 2, that's 8.25. We'll make a mark there. Now, we're taking the middle of um, the neck width and the shoulder that we just marked. Remember I told us, just place your tip, let it rest on the shoulder measurement, then fold your tip into two, like so, and then make a mark there. Okay, now the next thing for us to do is to take our bust span, and remember her bust span is 8.5, 8.5 divided by 2, that's 4.25. So we'll place it here. Um, we'll mark our 4.25. But for the back, we're adding one inch. Okay. Now the one inch will take care of um of the zip. Okay. Because we're still going to tighten the back. Okay, so we are adding our one inch. Now we're connecting this one inch to come and meet this midpoint here. This is it. So we're going to um, use half inch. We're going to cut this out, then use half inch to join it. Okay, so let's mark our half inch joining allowance.
We're going to cut this out and then use our pin to join it back. Okay, so it's time for us to use our pin to join it back. The lines must meet. Okay, so here we have it. The next thing we're going to do is to tighten the back. So on the waistline, we come in by 0 0.75 and connect that to the tip of the paper. Now, the next thing for us to do is to get the front and place. Okay. Remember that we have not cut out this part. Now let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and cut cut the front now the next thing we're going to do is to pick up the front piece that we had earlier cut then we're going to align it by that one inch zip allowance that we came in with okay then we'll pin the waistlines okay now um the front we're going to also align it by that one inch we came in with but in doing this ensure that your armhole area is laying flat then you go ahead and pin and then we're going to be making a little alteration for the back. Remember that this is the bustier line, okay? Now we're going to be extending that bustier line outward, okay? This is the bustier line for the front. We're going to, we just extended it outward. Then we'll come out by one inch, okay? We'll come out by one inch and then we're connecting to form the back armhole line. We are connecting from here to make this one inch and then we come in this way okay now for the back the back is going to be resting just extend this line outward then extend it okay so for the back we have extended here outward by one inch then just extend this line this line that we have here extend it back um, outward like so and then just try to make a straight line inwards okay the back and that's it guys it's time for us to cut okay okay so we'll go ahead and take off the pins now for the back we'll mark um our neck width which is three inches and our neck depth of 1.5 Okay, so I like tighten my back for that to avoid every, any form of bulging. Now to do this, we'll come up um, along that zip line by 0 0.75, then we connect like so. Okay, now after this, we will go ahead and cut that part off. Okay, so um, to style our neck, our front neckline, we'll come down from the bustier line by 0 0.5, okay? And then we're simply going to connect that to the armhole with a slight curve. wait for the back is that we need to know the extent of because we need to align the front and the back now from the starting point what we have there is 6.5 okay so we're going to get the back measure the same 6.5 okay so and you see is the same at the same point okay so that's it now we'll go ahead and cut out, we'll go ahead and cut out the front. Okay, so this is what I have. Now, this is my... Okay, so if you look at the, the yoke, you can see that the armhole area is not relaxing. So you're simply going to pleat that and measure. Um, what we have there is 0 0.25. So when we're adding our allowances for joining, we will add 0 0.5 plus the 0 0.25. Okay, um, for the back yoke, um, I came down by 6.5 from the original 1.5 inches neck depth. Okay, and I connected with a slant line. Okay, so this is our new back line. Now the next thing we're going to do is to 
let's take off this excess here because our zip is going to be stopping here so let me cut off the zip allowance completely um let's place our curve to connect so we're placing it this way from the 0 0.5 mark okay so we're connecting this way i don't want the opening to be so wide so that's why i'm trying to adjust it okay so this is what we have now when we are cutting we are going to be cutting exactly along this line okay now this is it um i like to write 0 0.5 inch away from the zip line so that when it's time to join the yoke to this lower part you will know now um let's also go ahead and mark our zip because we've sloped we've, we've sloped the center back already so let's mark our one inch zip allowance so we'll go ahead and connect that okay so that's our new zip line we'll go ahead and cut that out and that's it guys the well, next thing for us to do is to separate okay and that's it now let's pop out this piece that we have here okay so we'll also go ahead and cut on our fabric but on the fabric i like to cut my neckline directly on the fabric okay just to avoid any form of errors so this is what we have this is the back um i like to write this is one two okay so this is the back now this is our yoke yoke okay because we're cutting it as a single piece and then on the fabric we'll trace out the neckline and um this is it this is the front okay so we're going to go ahead to transfer to the fabric okay so let's go ahead and mark her sleeve so i just took a marginal line up there so the total sleeve length is 17.5 but we are first going to mark um her sleeve length from the shoulder to just before the elbow and that's 11.5 and we'll add one inch um joining allowance so that gives us 12.5 we'll go ahead and mark okay so the next thing we're going to do is to mark her cap height and to get your cap height you're simply going to do your bust round divided by 12 plus 1 and her bust round is 43 43 divided by 12 plus 1 will give us 4.56 but we'll approximate that to 4.6 then we'll go ahead and mark okay so next we're going to mark her armhole round and to get that you're going to do your bust round divided by 6 plus 1.5 and if we do has will be um we'll have 8.6 then we're also adding um 1.5 so in allowance okay we'll also go ahead and mark her round sleeve her round sleeve is 12 divided by 2 is 6 plus 1.5 so in allowance then we'll go ahead and connect the points now what we're going to do is from this starting point you mark your two inches and then you mark another two inches okay so this is two and then this is another two making it four now at this four will come down by 1.5 okay so we are connecting from here to meet this point okay so we are connecting from here to meet this point and then from here to meet this point okay Okay, so this is her sleeve okay so we'll go ahead and cut that out okay so we are done this is her sleeve okay now let's go ahead and transfer all this 
to our fabric okay okay so you're welcome back um now for the lower parts it's going to be a half circle flare but um my client wants it to be um full you know slightly fuller than the regular half circle flare okay so we're going to do a little mathematics so her waist round is 37 and her waist round is 37 okay so 37 plus we're going to add one inch for um zip allowance then we're also going to add um extra three inches for pleats just to give it extra fullness so 37 plus 1 is 38 plus 3 that's 41 now we're going to be dividing this 41 by 3.142 okay because the formula for half circle flare is 3.142 so 41 over 3.142 that will give us 13 okay so this is our radius our radius is 13 okay now from the entire dress length the entire dress length is is 56.5 this is the full dress length from the shoulder to the floor is 56.5 then we've taken our half length we cut out our half length at 18 okay now if you subtract 18 from 56.5 we'll be left with 38.5 okay so from her waist to the full length is 38.5 okay now we're going to be adding our allowances here so um this 38.5 plus we're going to add half inch for the joining um to the half cut okay so plus 0 0.5 for the joining to the upper part then plus the folding allowance of um one inch okay let's use one inch to, to fold the hem okay so in total what we have here is 40 inches okay so 38.5 plus 0 0.5 that's 39 plus one inch that's 40 inches so now the two measurements that we are working with is our radius of 13 13 inches and our lower part length of 40 inches okay now to fold we are simply going to add these two together so that we know the extent of the folding of our fabric so we'll do this 40 inches plus 13 that will give us 53 okay so we're going to measure out with our tape we're going to um, open our fabric measure out 53 inches but i like to add extra two inches just so you're on the safe side okay so let's add two inches so that's so that means we're measuring our 55 no yes we're measuring our 55 inches okay so 55 we're going to measure that and fold and then i'll show us okay so it's time for us to measure out our um 55 inches okay so place your tape like so and you measure out so this is my 55 inches i'm going to fold it okay now the next thing for us to do is to fold we're going to fold we're going to lift up this shorter side remember we're going to lift this side like so okay and then we're folding this way okay so this is what we did okay so let me take that again this fabric now is still on fold okay it's still folded into two like so now the next thing we are going to do is to lift it from this side this side like this just lift a single piece just lift this side and then form a triangle this okay we are going to smoothen that out we are going to go ahead to 
mark out those our measurements remember our initial calculations okay now we're going to to take our tape and mark out our measurements okay now um we'll mark the entire length remember the entire length the 40 plus the 13 inches radius is 53 okay so we are placing our tape at the tip the very tip of this fabric okay so we're placing our tape at the very tip we're placing our tape at the very tip of this fabric so we are marking 53 inches so place it like so okay so we're going to mark our 53 inches all round okay so we've cut out this is what we have okay our pin is still there now if you can see this area is shorting just this tiny piece is shorting but we'll come back to that um i want us to mark our radius okay so let's mark our radius remember our radius we said um, we want to use 13 so we still place at the tip okay then we'll mark our 13 inches Now this is it. We've marked, we've marked our radius. Okay, our radius. Okay, so we'll go ahead now. If you take the rest of the measurements, remember we said that the rest, the lower part, we want it to be forty. And if you take the lower part, you can see that it's forty. So what we're going to do now is to go ahead and cut on this line. It's We'll go ahead and notch the middle part okay this is very important so that when it's time for your um when it's time for your folding when it's time for your pleating you will know or your gathers you will know the extent the, the notches will be a guide for you okay so that's it we're done now let's come back to this lower part okay so for this lower part, you can see that here is on fold. So for us to finish that, because I also want to, I want to continue with the pattern, okay? You can see the pattern of the fabric. I want to join it in such a way that you won't even notice that there was a join in there, okay? So, okay, so, um, okay, so I've gone ahead to fold. Remember, um, the, the designs, the patterns are running down this way. So I folded. This part is on fold. Okay, just like this part is on fold. See, this part is on fold. Okay. Now, I want this design to continue running down here. So that when I'm done, you won't even notice that it was folded. Okay. Okay, so you go ahead and pin that piece down and um, turn to the other side, then reshape, so you have a complete a circle. Okay, so I went ahead to cut my lining, and I made it 18 inches shorter. Okay, so um, I'm going ahead to place our patterns on our fabric, so I've cut out. The only allowance we added is the half inch I told us for the joining to the yoke, so there's a um, half inch um, allowance here and here as well the rest we cut exactly then you're also going to notch remember your notches okay so this is the back pattern we also added our half inch at the chest line there for joining to our yoke then the rest we cut exactly okay then i also went ahead to cut out our linings so the linings are there as well okay so the next thing we're going to do is to cut out our yoke remember our front yoke and our back yoke and we are yet to we are yet to cut out our sleeve sorry and we're yet to cut out our our neck depth for the back and the front as well and then after that we'll cut our sleeve and our shorts all right guys you're welcome back okay so for the yoke and the upper part of the sleeve um we're going to be using this cord lace, okay? 
now um, both sides have um, stretch okay both sides they have stretch but um, it's folding more on the horizontal side okay so we'll go ahead and fold it then we're going to um, place our yoke now I went ahead to reshape my yoke the neck because I want the neck to be 2.5 by 3 remember we had earlier marked 3 inches neck width by 3 inches neck depth but now I want it to be 2.5 2 inches neck width by 3 inches neck um, depth okay I did the same at the back as well um, 2.5 inches neck width by 1.5 neck depth okay so we're going to place this so we're going to place and then I'll go ahead and add my 0 0.5 inches allowance here and um, we're not adding any allowance here but remember this is our tiny fold here which is 0 0.25 I'll add it here plus my 0 0.5 um, folding allowance okay then I'll come back and show us okay I'll do the same at the back here for the back here I'm placing it this way and then the only place I'm adding the only place I'm adding allowance is here I'll add my joining allowance this point because I'm going to use um, a tool net to turn this okay so um, this is the only place I'm adding allowance and here as well I'm using 0 0.5 inch here for joining to the lower part of the back and then for the, the rest of the areas we're cutting exactly so I'll pin and then I'll show us before I cut Okay, so I'm done. I'm done pinning. I've I'm gonna have to first um, add the 0 0.25 down for that. Yeah, I added it back. Then I now added my 0 0.5 joining allowance all the way. Then there's no allowance on the neck and the shoulder. Same thing for the back. There's no allowance this side. The only allowance we have here is 0 0.5 here for the joining. Then I'm also going to be leaving 0 0.25 for the turning. Of this curve here okay so let's start our cutting so we'll still pin it because we'll cut out exactly that shape on the yoke um, on the tool as our yoke so let me go ahead and cut my sleeve Alright guys, so in the next video, I'm going to show us the step-by-step -step process of the joining. Okay, um, I'll see you guys.